right there, Tom. The New Japan Pro Wrestling stalwart, the legend around the world, Tomohiro Ishii, is here for championship matchup. Iron still reeling from the events of this evening. Just saw Sammy Callahan return to drop moves. Mia Yim returning earlier on tonight. What an explosive end of this evening. It could be if we see a new Impact World Champion. And it's already been a rough start to this weekend for Josh Alexander. Yesterday, Josh set out to drive from his home in Toronto to here, the greater Cincinnati area, a seven hour drive in total. Halfway through, Josh's new truck was smashed into the median by the back wheels of a semi. The front of Alexander's truck was crushed and ripped off. A total of six cars were affected in the accident. Josh, thankfully, sustained no injuries, but you can imagine how scary that was for him and his family. For any other human, that's cue to take a day or two, but the walking weapon does not rest. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Under Siege main event of the evening. It is for the Impact World Championship, scheduled for one fall when the bell rings, your referee, Brandon Toll. Ladies and gentlemen, in the corner to my left, the challenger from Kawasaki, Japan, representing New Japan Pro Wrestling. He is the Stone Pitbull, Tomohiro Ishii. His opponent in the corner to my right, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, he is the reigning and defending Impact World Champion, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander! That smile on the face says it all, Ray Walt, because this is exactly what Josh Alexander fought so hard for, not just the six months to get back to the Impact World Championship, but for 17 years to call himself the Impact World Champion. It's that championship on top of the work ethic and every bit of sweat, blood, and tears that Josh Alexander has put into this business that make him able to be here tonight after such a harrowing incident that he went through this weekend and face quite the opponent like Tomohiro Ishii. This our main event here at Under Siege. Josh Alexander defends the Impact World Championship against Tomohiro Ishii. And a stalemate here early on. Who do you give the advantage to when it comes to power in this game? God, that's a hard question. Josh Alexander obviously has the height and the reach advantage in this one, but take nothing away. The low center of gravity of Ishii can cause a lot of trouble for his opponents. It's hard to just knock this guy down, let him pick him up and toss him around. Well, Ishii trying to control Josh Alexander, and you and I have talked about it in the last few weeks. Josh Alexander has plenty of experience competing against Japanese legends, very notably over the last six months. He took out Suzuki on his path to getting back to the Impact World Champion, uh, Championship. He competed in Japan as well, so this is not unfamiliar territory. Suzuki, who was a longtime rival of Ishii himself. So two men who know what it's like to be in the ring with Josh Alexander now. And that's what I mean. It won't be that easy, Mr. Alexander. Oh, that's stark nature. <laughs> Ishii was saying, go ahead, go get some rope. Oh, and Ishii taking off his feet. That is no small accomplishment. Oh. But neither is dropping the world champion just like that. Ishii has been excellent as of late here in Impact Wrestling. His victory against Eddie Edwards at the multiverse of matches. He took out Jonah at Rebellion. Oh, defeated Steve Macklin this past Thursday on Access TV. We saw this matchup start with a little bit of grappling, a little bit of catch wrestling. But if you've watched any bit of New Japan Pro Wrestling, you knew at some point this is going to break down into testing your medal against your fellow man. Josh in the corner. Back elbow by Alexander. Rushes at Ishii. Runs out. Down with 
with that shoulder tackle. What pressure do you think Alexander was putting on himself? Last time he had a defense of this championship on a live broadcast. He was bound for glory. Moose took the title from him in seven seconds. Oh, we talk about what Josh Alexander had to go through to get back to the championship. Oh, if there's anybody in this roster, if there's anybody in this world who knows what he's got to do to keep it, oh, he's got to turn it up to 11, which he's going to have to do against Ishii right here to keep him in check. You can see Ishii step forward a couple times there. Alexander backed him down. Again, these moments where you see Ishii go down at all, even to your knee, that is, that is not a small thing. small feet. But you look here, you look at the way he's dropping his hips, not letting Alexander pick him up. Uh, Ishii taking off his feet there for a moment. You know Ishii's gonna look yeah. at that brain buster. Surplex levels the playing field. Ishii able to drop Josh Alexander. So much pride for Josh Alexander just to be able to walk to the ring with the Impact World title clipped around his waist. He spoken in the lead up to Rebellion that I was the only Impact World Champion in the history of this company who didn't have enough time and Bound for Glory to strap the title around my waist. That means the world to Alexander. It's those little things that haunt us sometimes, the little things that mean the most. Look at that. Alexander welcoming this. And, but that's the thing, even from Ishii's side, you're normally, you have your opponent strapped up in the corner, they're at your mercy. You don't wake him up and say, hey, get ready, let's go. Josh Alexander, you see the wares of war just a little bit on the face of the stone pit bull. AC just trying to get in the head of Josh Alexander in some way. And look at Alexander just trying to keep Ishii at bay. You know, back to the corner. Look at Ishii taking forearms to the face and not moving. Look at this. Alexander dropping the single. Sam, bring it. Oh, oh, that was high. That was high to the neck and to the throat. And in what other sport, Tom, do you see combatants welcoming? Your opponent to take a shot. I don't see any boxers doing that, I'll tell you that much. Ishii rolls Alexander back into the ring. Championship match. The title can only change hands via pinfall or submission in the ring. Another shot, that one high again along the neck, along the throat. I believe the breathing more the issue here. We know the surgically repaired neck of Josh Alexander. That's something to be aware of, but still. Calling attention to the fact that most of these knife edge chops we see all the time, flush of the palm against the flesh of your opponent, but these have been all forearm, bone on the side of your arm to the neck and throat area of Josh Alexander. That's nasty. in the dead center of the ring, exchange. Oh. Ishii on the move, beats Alexander with a kick middle of the ring. Ishii off his feet again, this time by the walking weapon. You see Josh Alexander grasping at his throat there, still feeling the effects of those gnarly forearm chops to the throat. 
think about it, for six months, Josh Alexander was fueled by emotion, by rage, getting to one man, Moose. Now begins the challenge of being champion, dealing with this type of battle. You've got to double up your methods. It's one thing to take it home, it's another to keep it. And keep it time and time again as we build a matchup here. Huge crossbody from Josh Alexander. And how about that? Using the ropes moments before to go out to the throat of Ishii. Says, well, you're going to affect my breathing. I'm going after yours. Tit for tat. What's good for one is good for the other. Ishii down on the outside of the ring. And now Alexander trying to manipulate the New Japan Pro Wrestling legend. Trying to psych himself up, trying to get the crowd behind him, and the German suplex. Let's see if we can start the count up tonight. That's two. Alexander made Moose feel this in succession at Rebellion. Each able to block it. Does not want to get caught there. between these two competitors. It's not hatred, but there's something a little bit more than just mutual respect here. There is an intensity in this competition that you do not see very often.
championship tonight for the Impact World Championship at Under Siege. The challenger of Ishii, exactly the type of obstacle the new Impact World Champion Josh Alexander won. The punishment that both he and him have stood has been incredible. The fact that they are both still in this, both getting to their feet is a testament to who they are as professional wrestlers. And she charges in into the top of her buckle, and that shot to the back of the head really hit home. Once again, she rumbles to the mat. How frustrated is Josh Alexander? You and I both know he did not expect this to go this long. He was hoping to put his shoe up prior to this. But if there's anybody who's in it for the long haul, it's the walking weapon as he looks to set up something very, very dangerous here. Alexander right on the chin. Alexander's on the top of the steel post. And he's just trying to get his bearings as Ishii climbs up. Looking for a superplex. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at the power! Superplex! Ishii! Superplexes in our day, but how many can say they've seen a stalling superplex? This is awesome. Now we should oh, to the back of the head. Under siege with the Impact World Title. And now Ishii trying to set up. He thinks time for the brain buster, perhaps. Oh, he's got a look. Alexander up the knee, though. Alexander still got fight left in most ball package. Alexander cover, cover on Ishii. Oh, a kick out before three. Alexander back to a corner, able to block Ishii for a moment. Oh, oh, oh my God, backbreaker! Powerbomb to the knee, almost breaking Ishii in half. Going after the spine of Ishii, and now it's Alexander. Going to the turnbuckle again. He's gone for the C4 spike. He's gone for the ankle lock. What's he going for? He's looking for the boots. Nobody there. That is the second time we've seen Alexander go for high risk offense. This is not like the walking weapon. That shows you just how he views Ishii. And now, lined up. Oh, what the dive in for the clothesline. Alexander saw it coming and ducked it. Oh, and a headbutt. Alexander's down. And Tim Burr, Alexander, falls to the mat. Ishii wants a kick. men here have fired up nearly everything in their arsenal. Send up now, wants the brain buster. Alexander resists. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Alexander! Went for the C4 spike. She saw it coming again. Oh, you see down the back. Going again for the ankle, going for the ankle. She's 
Alexander gets face over and gets the Inziguri off. Oh, look at Alexander. Not so fast, says Alexander. Oh! Exchange of violence right here. My God. Oh, wow. Alexander's not done. And now he's looking to finish it. C4 Spike. C4 Spike. Alexander crumbles the stone pitbull. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. It's still Impact World Champion, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. fight to the very last. There is absolutely no denying that both competitors put every single thing they had on the line. Josh Alexander earned this victory. And one more time, take a look at the finish here. Finally, the C4 spike nailed onto Tomohiro Ishii which put the match away once and for all. He is the Iron Man. He is the standard. He is the locking weapon.